The Ogun State Government has imposed a curfew to commence from 10 p.m. on Wednesday while also banning all public processions and protests in the state. Kunle Shomori, Chief Press Secretary to Governor Dakbo Abiodun, made the announcement in a statement on Wednesday night. It reads, there will be a curfew in Ogun State effective tonight, Wednesday from 10 p.m. to tomorrow, Thursday morning at 6 a.m. This coffee will be again be effective tomorrow, Thursday, at the same time, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Restriction of operations of commercial motorcycle riders, popularly called Okada, from all major roads in the state from 10 p.m. to night, Wednesday, and through to 6 a.m. on Friday. Operation of all commercial buses are also suspended from 10 p.m. to night till Friday morning. Taxi cabs are permitted to operate within the hours outside the daily coffee period. However, the number of passengers remains limited to a maximum of three only. All forms of gathering in the state except the state announced Independence Day anniversary program are restricted to a maximum of 20% from 10 p.m. to 9 to 6 a.m. on Friday. No procession whatsoever is allowed. Owners and operators of hotels, suits, guests, houses, motels, and such establishments providing accommodation should note that the restriction on operation has not been lifted. All residents are to monitor and report any suspicious movements and activities in their neighborhood to the security agencies. Okay. Because of all these protests here and there, that is why they are bringing all this. You know, when uh, in some states, when the police, like a, a, for example, Imo State, when because of a, the order given by the people in that area by IPOB, saying that a, they should just sit at home. Uh, meanwhile, the police is saying, oh, you can go about doing your own thing and all of that. And I said even by default. That day is always usually a public holiday for people, for m most people. Not that they want to celebrate any independence. So by default, people will just stay at home. And now, uh, in Ogun State, now they are saying, oh, people should any form of protest and all of that should be avoided. It should not be allowed because people are protesting. And a lot of people are really angry about this whole thing. That why are these people behaving as a dictators? You know, these are the people that will be going around when election time is coming. They will be begging, they will be crawling, they will be, you know, doing all manner of things because they want to come in. And people will fall in for it. People will begin to show uh, all manner of sentiment. Oh, yes, oh, this person will be good. This person oh, should not be treated this way. But at the end of the day, when I look at all this, it's all, it's all about jamboree. It's all jamboree here and there. Nobody is ready to do anything. It is business as usual. They will get there and begin to do what they want to do because they know the only weapon the masses have is the protest. And now, in Nigeria now, protest is becoming prohibited. It is now an abomination. It is now a, a wrong thing to protest in this uh, Buari administration. They don't want people to protest. They will be telling you, you have to get police reports, police uh, permits before you can protest in this 21st century because they are all jittering of the way things are going in this country. They are all afraid. Things are not working well. Things are not going well. Things have become so worse. It has been bad before, but it's becoming worse. And they are beginning to put a lot of things. Why telling people not to protest? Why telling people not to, not to make their opinion or to express themselves even as they are suffering? And you call this government, you call this democracy, you are talking about uh, the independence, you are talking about the freedom, you know, being on your own. And yet you are still restricting people from uh, 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 expressing themselves. Is that freedom? What kind of independence is that? This Buhari administration has brought a lot of a lot of things that have not you know that are that we have not really heard before we are supposed to be moving ahead as far as the democracy is concerned but it's like it, 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 this administration has turned it to something else that you have to take permission before you pro uh, protest of course are you sure are you do you think they will somebody will allow you to go and protest when they know because definitely they will know the reason why you want to go and protest you want to protest against the government and you expect them to give you that permission where is that done i don't understand where is that done they are turning everything upside down. Turning everything upside down. People that will protest, they will see arrest them. I don't just understand. You are doing the awkward things, making life uncomfortable for the people. Yet, 
you don't want people to complain. You don't want people to express themselves. You see, even this governor, I don't even understand because I could remember during the COVID-19, they will tell you, I don't know the rationale behind it. Honestly, you just think these people are wearing red. And these people are the people that go, a lot of people, they go outside the country, majority of them even school outside the country. They will come back and begin to have acts in an awkward manner, in an archaic manner, in a dictatorship manner. That is how they are going to be acting. See this man. You, when you see him, you, you see him as a gentleman. During COVID-19, they will tell you Monday, Tuesday, don't go out. Wednesday is a free day. Thursday, Friday, don't go out. You know, um, that is just something of that nature. Maybe if weekend, you don't go out. Does that make sense? So people who, who the day you are giving people off, they will mingle together. They will do everything. <laughs> the next day, they will go and sit at home. The following day, they will, they will mingle together. They will do a manner of things. They will, there will be no social distancing. There will be nothing. And again, the following day, you tell them to sit down at home, to observe what. Does that make sense? I don't just understand the way we do things. Honestly, it's unfortunate the way these people do things because of uh, Odudua and other groups who are to protest, saying that uh, this uh, celebration of independence uh, day is not worth it because we have not gained anything. You know, it can be all good for them. It is a party Christmas for them. It is Christmas for them. They will marry, they will jolly, they will do all manner of things because they are the ones in power. They are the ones enjoying the dividends that is accrued to this country. Well, government, uh, this government, because uh, Ududua Republic rally, Abi, you are uh, putting this call for you. Almighty God will flush you away. Ududua Republic will come to reality. Is this the way to celebrate independence? Why locking your people that voted for you? It's really a shame our politicians become emperors, the movement they are voted in. And the people always vote... You know, always fall for that. But the problem is that how would you know somebody who is going to turn out to, to turn against you when the person comes in? Because they will all pretend. So it is even difficult. Somebody you think that will be there for the people that will do the bidding of the people. All of a sudden, the person will just change. You'll just be surprised. So, you know, that was why this man came out. Um, this uh, musician, Bonabi, he said, I don't trust politicians. Who is to trust them? Even when they are dead, they will still be telling you stories. They will be telling you all manner of lies, reading speeches here and there. Good plans, they will read it to you. Bringing it to action, making it, uh, 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 fulfilling it is where the problem lies. They will just come out and read it and, and that's it. They will go back. Next time, they will come back again to read all those speeches to you. Imagine Yoruba will always be tagged as a betrayer of their brothers. You impose coffee because of your own selfishness selfish interest the same set of people that will benefit from the newly coming country is waging against agitators don't mind him your second term is under ocean mugu okay if leaders who can't serve those who elected them democracy without freedom of speech movement and association and that they are celebrating independence <laughs> celebrating independence so guys leave your comment below and let us have your take